I know you're here for this jump, but it was also a trip to London, so I'm also gonna show just a few other things that I did while in London, and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. So this trip was dedicated to catching up with family, stuffing my face with as much food as I could, and meeting up with friends I hadn't seen in years. As you can see, started out with the food. The next day, went over to a park to meet up with Blessing, my friend, and I hadn't seen her since 2019. So it was lovely to meet her. We stayed on the swing sets, played like kids, and caught up on life. Next evening, I met up with Chigo. Chigo is a friend of mine from undergrad, and I hadn't seen Chigo in four years. The last time I saw Chigo was 2017. So it was such a blast seeing in person after talking on the phone and via chats for years. Had the time of our lives. The next morning. Hi, it's morning, Saturday morning. Last night was a blast with Shigo. Absolutely loved it. Missed her. <laughs> like, it was so cool. And now today, I'm going bungee jumping. But here's the thing. I booked bungee jumping. They put it by 11 a.m. Like, who is awake 11 a.m. on a Saturday? Who and why? Anyways, <laughs> so because of that, I had to be up really early today. And I'm about to go getting ready and I'm so excited. I'm also scared because it's 160 feet in the air. Do you like ha? <laughs> God help me. I had to wear a much larger shirt because I'm wearing really fitted um trousers. But the problem now is this one that is large when I'm upside down. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe I'll talk in my trousers, you know, since they're really fitted. But I'm going really minimal, like no jewelries at all, no earrings, nothing. I'm going to even take the scarf off as well. But we'll soon leave the house. And I'm so excited. <laughs> so let's see how that goes. amazing it was exciting it was everything so <laughs> do i recommend it yes a hundred percent would i do it again a hundred percent would i go higher maybe but like you know just before i went up or not just before like some people before me there was a lady who went up 
and then when she got up there she's like yeah i'm not doing this and so she came down instead of doing the jump and when i was waiting i was like you've paid a lot of money why are you not why are you not doing it i was already judging her and then when it was my turn we went all the way up and i was like yes yes i understand why <laughs> so the guy explained everything to me he was like just stand stand up put a bit of your toes out and then i'll say one two three and you jump i was like okay and i don't know like the crane is is shaking so like i was so terrified to even stand so i was holding everything i could hold and i stood up and then he was like okay one two then he pushed me <laughs> So I didn't even know what happened. I was like, yo, shoot. Then you like, the thing goes, whoa, dunk, dunk. Like, you're not bouncing. <laughs> uh, it was everything and more. You, you should experience it. You know, it was lovely. The view from up there, amazing. You know, I love it. I think everybody should, if you have the opportunity, go bungee jumping. It's what it is. Yeah. The next day. I'm here real quick to give a short um update on the bungee jump ever since yesterday i've been having you know when you haven't walked out in a while and then you go for sit-ups or like tummy workouts and you have that pain the next day ah uh, that's what i'm having it hurts it hurts <laughs> but that's only that's the only like side effect i've had so i think that's good you know so yeah, that's just an update. This is me signing out. So I'm officially leaving London, heading to the airport. This trip has to be the best thing that happened to me in a very long time. Like top tier, top tier trips of all times. Anyways, the sun is out, which is really good. Feels like a summer's day. But London has been lovely. Till next time. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Bye.